Um, so what are the easy? We know this. Uh, surprising uh, how few people do it, but um, I'm out there proselytizing just about every day now uh, what you can do in your lives now uh, if you want to live uh, healthier, if not uh, certainly longer. But what's not so easy? Well, not so, not so easy is trying to figure out what to do if someone cannot jump on a treadmill or cannot miss meals um, or cannot get a standing desk and, and stand up all day or uh, cannot afford a biomarker feedback, which some of us are using now. Essentially, that's taking blood tests and having a computer tell you uh, how out of range you are for your demographic, for your sex, for your age, and how to try and get that back in order. That's coming. That's coming. So there, are, there are biosensors on our arms. There are, of course, watches and, and a ring like this that I'm wearing. Um, and that'll all help continue uh, what Richard uh, beautifully showed in his talk, um, the, that trend going upward linearly. But I would say that if we don't do something, those of us in this room and our colleagues, it will not continue that way. It doesn't happen by accident. We have to work as human beings to make that happen. So what's the not so easy? Well, the, there are many pathways that control aging. That's been the breakthrough since 2000, well, actually more like early 1990s, that there are actually genetic pathways that control aging. We, uh, Matt, Brian, and I, and Lenny worked in yeast. Um, and those pathways actually have shown to be uh, very important in our bodies as well. And the challenge now is finding molecules, I believe, to, to treat, medicine, uh, treat diseases with medicines. Um, so you can see there's, there's Rapalogs. Uh, we've got uh, NAD boosters, metformin, which um, and uh, the stacks. I want to give an update on stacks. Stacks are sirtuin activating compounds. First one that got a lot of um, press was resveratrol, but there are others. There's quercetin, which is now uh, proselytized as a uh, senolytic. There's phazetin also. Uh, 2104 is a drug that was developed by Sertris and GlaxoSmithKline. An update on that uh, I think is warranted now. But now for the hard one. Uh, this is one of the things that drives me, has been driving me since I was about four years old. Uh, why don't we stay young? And it's such an obvious question, I don't think many of us even take, take this question seriously. Um, but if, if aliens were to come down and examine us as a species, they think we're kind of pathetic, uh, that we don't ask this question more often, and we have debates about how the heck are we ever going to help, help each other. Um, but yeah, what about why don't we stay young? Another way to put it is why do we age? Now, we, uh, thanks to, you know, Brian put out a beautiful uh, paper, which we all cite uh, all the time. Uh, this is a classic paper from a number of years ago, The Hallmarks of Aging, and, you know, eight or nine, depending on which continent you're on, and we all use this as a guideline to hopefully one day extend healthy lifespan. With all of these, is there, is there something upstream? Is there something that's, that's driving many, if not all, of these processes? And so these are... These are nine dams on nine tributaries as a way to say maybe if we could go really upstream, maybe there's something that could really have a big effect on aging. And, and maybe even if we understood it well enough, we could truly reverse age, not just improve blood flow and, and that kind of thing that we've been doing.